hello guys and welcome back to the channel commander landed here with another video on dc legends and today i'm bringing you the spotlight on cheetah this one is well overdue we're gonna take a look at this character right now so let's get the basics out of the way first of all she is a mystic character and she's a she deals great damage but she is very squishy as we're gonna see as we get into his stats but before that let's go ahead and take a short look at her bio Relic Hunter Barbara Minerva paid a high price when an ancient dagger transformed her into the fearsome half-human cheetah. Her affiliations are the Injustice League, her powers, savage animal powers granted by the cheetah's spirit. So, as I just said, she's a, a damage dealer, and let's first take a look at her model. This is, as you can see, her legendary skin, which I don't think it looks all too bad. I kind of liked her better when she was not legendary, but I like her legendary skin well enough now let's take a look at her stats and as you can see guys her strength is her highest stat at the moment sitting at 956 plus 360 with the gear at level 58 and gear level 9 she also her second highest stack at her stamina which gives her a very healthy pool of hit points um, but her agility is low which is why i said that she was squishy when we look at her agility is 893 plus 240 at level gear 9 which is kind of low but Again, she is not meant to take hits. She is not a tank. So, with, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into her abilities. And first of all, we have Swift Slash. And this ability does light damage and applies four bleeds to a target at max level. Now, this attack has the attack of light damage, air quotes, but um, I've seen it do over 6k damage unbuffed. So that is, that is even without strength up at all. So this is nothing to just scoff at, if you know what I mean. Now, the legendary upgrade for this ability grants her a plus 20% damage and 100% hit chance. Now, this increases the damage done by this ability and takes it out of the light damage category, in my opinion. Plus, the 100% hit chance is a nice bonus to have. All in all, I think this is a second, a solid second upgrade to aggr for aggressive builds. Otherwise, I would just make it, maybe put it on a third place. But moving on to her second ability, Ravage. This ability has a minus one cooldown and 45% critical chance if the target is bleeding. This is her big, hard hitting attack, and it hits very hard, especially if the target is bleeding and she has strength up. Very solid ability in a bleed team. Now the legendary upgrade for this ability takes reduces the cooldown by another uh, turn. And this makes Cheetah a very dangerous threat. If she can remain alive long enough to be a threat, that is. That being said, this is possible, uh, possibly a third good solid third upgrade. Uh, you should get this for an aggressive build or fourth for a more control composition because it won't play uh, as much of a, a, a big role in there. So moving on to her third ability and my favorite one is Blood in the Air. This ability applies three strength up at max level plus one if an enemy is dead. Now this ability is the reason you're probably bringing Cheetah in right now. This makes the entire team monstrous. This ability is sadly bugged at the moment since it doesn't apply that extra strength up consistently when an enemy is dead which is kind of sad but it's still all overall a very very good ability. Now the legendary upgrade for this ability grants a 25% turn meter to all allies. This is without a doubt the first legendary upgrade that you should get in my opinion. It takes the utility of this ability to 11 Everybody gets strength up and turn meter in one move. It also makes this ability very versatile because you can use it either for the strength up buff or simply just to get the jump on the enemy team. Very, very, very solid ability. Definitely recommend it as the first upgrade. But moving on to her first passive ability is Ambush Killer. Now this ability has a 35% I'm sorry, chance to gain strength up and 25, 21% turn meter if anyone on the field takes bleed damage. That means anybody on the enemy team, anybody on your team. Cheetah is fast and she hits hard. And this just makes her faster and hit harder. So very, very good passive ability. Definitely recommend it. Um, to, to, for you to take advantage on a bleed team. Now, the legendary upgrade for this ability gives her a 10% chance to use blood in the air when anyone on the field take bleed damage. So again, anybody on the enemy team, anybody on your team. Now, though 10% is a bit low when it, pro when it procs, 
it's a very welcome addition. However, I feel like I need to make the clarification that when this ability procs off her passive, um, this does not, it applies the strength up, but it does not give the turn meter to the allies. So that is a very important thing to consider. Like, don't expect it to just give you 25% meter to everybody. You just get the strength up buff, which again, is a very, very good thing. Now, I would highly recommend upgrade this second if you're running a bleed team with her. If you're not using her for a bleed team, which I would highly, highly recommend you do, then you could relegate this to a fourth place. Now, moving on to her leader passive ability, Pack Leader. Now, this grants all allies a 42% chance to gain 40% turn meter when attacking a bleeding target. This is an amazing leader ability in my opinion, especially if you're running a bleed team. If your bleeds, uh, someone on the other side of the board should be suffering from bleeds at all times if you're running a bleed team. So your chances to gain turn meter are pretty high because you're consistently attacking somebody who has bleeds. Now, sadly, it's, it's been reported that this ability at the moment is bugged and it's not working as intended, but once it is fixed, she's probably gonna be one of the most useful leaders in the game if it wasn't for her squishiness. Let me just clarify that. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk about some of the pros of this character because she does have a lot of pros. So first of all, she has a high damage output. Um, like I said, she hits very hard even on her basic attack, which has a light damage uh, tag. She still ha hits very hard. AoE strength up and turn meter in one move gives her a great utility even outside of bleed teams. Useful even outside of bleed teams, like I just said, so I'm kind of accentuating that again. Awesome leader ability, which makes the team faster, which is very, very good. Again, sadly bugged at the moment, but hopefully WB, WB will get to fixing it pretty soon. She's pretty fast and a threat if not dealt with, and she's easy to farm. She's available in seven nodes in the game, but she's also available in store packs, which I do not recommend you get those because it's random and also sort of expensive, but she's easily farmable because she's available in seven nodes. So you should be able to get her to legendary within a month, with a, within about 30 days. And I'm talking about legendary rank one, of course. The other legendary ranks will take you a little bit longer. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the cons because she does have a few cons to her. Like I said before, she's really squishy. She cannot take a hit, especially from hard hitting physical characters. They will take her down, if not in one hit, for sure in two hits which is very, very sad because she's such a great character. She's easily shut down by stun and debuffers. If she gets stunned that first turn, she's probably going to be dead by the second turn, so she's not even going to make it there. Debuffers also hurt her in the sense that they take away those stacks of strength up that she gives. Uh, and with the current fast physical characters meta we have going on right now in PvP, Cheetah isn't, she's not seeing much use. I've seen her in some teams, and I've, I've, I used to use her myself. But now I've switched to more of an energy-oriented team with Batman World's Greatest Detective in it. Because Cheetah, again, she just stays on the board enough to use blood in the air, which is quite the advantage, I'm not going to lie. But then she pretty much dies right after that. Alright, so let's dive into some of the synergies that she has. She actually has quite a few, so we're just going to touch up on like four. Uh, first of all, chemo. Now these two go together like bread and butter. AoE bleeds from Chemo allow Cheetah to tear through the enemy line and activate her passive and leader abilities more often. And Cheetah's bleeds help Chemo use his AoE ability to apply speed down and take away turn meter. So these two guys, they work very, very well together. We next we have su uh, support suit Lex Luthor. Now he makes Cheetah even faster. Plus, if his leader, if he's the leader of the team, she will benefit from his leader ability and the heal that he provides anytime somebody buffs. So that's a very, very good thing. And he also applies speed up. So he makes a fast character like Cheetah even faster. So these two go together very, very well. Star Sapphire, she gives Cheetah much needed survivability with the mens that she applies whenever Cheetah buffs herself and the team, which is really, really good. And Star Sapphire applies strength down, which should slow down the damage from those physical characters that are trying to hurt your Cheetah. Next up, we have Robin. Now, Robin is a bleeder and he helps Cheetah become more deadly as the fight goes on. These two would go together well, well together for longer fights. They also benefit each other under each other's leadership. If you want turn meter, then let Cheetah lead. And if you want to hide Cheetah, let Robin lead. Options, options, options with these two. So that's good, they, they're interchangeable leaders and they also help each other with bleeds. So very, very good. Now, counters for Cheetah. Now, if I ended this section with something like pretty much every physical character, 
Uh, it would be a true statement, but you guys would think that I was being lazy and probably get mad at me and I don't want to I don't want to try and be lazy. Let's so let's go ahead and mention a few. First of all, we have Cape Crusader Batman. He can one hit cheat on the face with his kick and uh, that kitty will purr no more. He definitely is a big big threat to her. Huntress, which is who is seeing a lot of use in PvP these days for um, being the avatar of the hunt, she is pretty vulnerable to the Huntress, all puns intended here, and she will snipe her out of the board in a hurry. Then we have Arcus. Now, though Cheetah has affinity advantage over him, he hits so hard that he can one-shot her almost every single time, and I'm telling you from experience, when I bring my Arcus, which I normally use it to use him because he's one of the ones on my main team, I see a cheetah, I automatically use issue, challenge, and sometimes we don't even need to get to that second hit, she will be dead. Uh, Star Sapphire, even though they go well together, they're also frenemies. Star Sapphire applies strength down, both as a single target and AoE, plus she does special damage, damage which cheetah is very susceptible to. So these are some of the counters, guys. These are my thoughts about Cheetah and my opinions. What do you think of Cheetah? Have you used her? Is there anything that I forgot to mention that you would like to add? Let me know in the, in the comment section below. Also, would you like to start for me to start adding team suggestions to these spotlight videos, which would make them just a tad bit longer? But let me know in the comment section below if that is something you'd be interested in. If I could just kind of like mention some teams and show show just like the picture of the team itself. Anyway, also. Guys, check out the video description below because I'm going to put a link to Doombox Insight and Discussion on Cheetah where he goes more in depth on the character and offers some team suggestions. Now, if you enjoyed this video, guys, feel free to give it a thumbs up as that helps out the channel a great deal. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on all the great content that I'll be bringing you in the days ahead. And if you would like to support the creation of more videos, click on the link to my PayPal tips jar in the video description below. And as always, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and stay legendary.